Let's get some reaction now from Ali Ahmed, the director of the Institute for Gulf Affairs. Welcome, Ali. Do you welcome this move by the House, the passing of a non-binding resolution acknowledging the U.S. role in the Saudi war in Yemen as anything more than symbolic? It is uh, extremely symbolic, and it's, in fact, shameful, because uh, if the uh, representative of the American people uh, uh, have some moral standards, they would realize that the United States uh, uh, government, an elected government, is participating in, in war crime uh, by supporting an absolute monarchy, starving and, and, and bombing, uh, you know, poor population and uh, spreading uh, cholera in, in, in Yemen, the largest outbreak in, 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 in our time. And, uh, and, and completely blockading uh, a country, uh, starving its population from food and medicine. So I, I really think it's a disappointment. It's shameful f that they didn't do anything. They could have passed uh, actual law instead of uh, just to give themselves some, uh, 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 you know, uh, pointers by saying, oh, we look, we have done good. This is not good. This is, in fact, uh, bad. They could have passed a, a, a law forbidding uh, U.S. Uh, support for the Yemen war. The non-binding resolution does not even call for an end to U.S. support. Why do you think the resolution had to be so watered down in order to pass and that something like what you describe could never make it on the books? Well, it, again, it's, you see, we are uh, told that, uh, you know, the Arabs and Muslims, uh, why do they hate America? It's, it's this kind of behavior that, that, uh, that is people, uh, that drives people to hate the United States, because why is the U.S. supporting this war that's killing people? It's an uh, aimless war, really. It's just a, a, a monarchy trying to destroy its weaker neighbor. And for the U.S. to be an active member of this war, uh, they should apologize and pay compensation, not uh, continue to support and pretend they are, uh, you know, uh, uh, good doers. And they, they are not. But the United what stops something been, uh, like that from being said in Congress, in your view? What, what prevents that from happening? I think it's the nature of the American political system that, that, that views the Middle East, and especially in the Arab Muslim Middle East, uh, to be uh, you know, a place for opportunity for, to sell weapons and, and to uh, usurp resources uh, and, and, uh, uh, and uh, these countries' uh, sovereignty. And, uh, uh, and that is the nature of the American political uh, system. It's not mm. a system that's moral, unfortunately. Over the weekend, thousands of Yemenis rallied in the streets to protest the devastating economic blockade Saudi holds over the country. Can you describe the impact of this blockade and how Yemenis are resisting that and the war? The, the blockade is killing more Yemenis than the actual bombs, uh, especially among children, uh, women, and uh, the elderly. Uh, the, the blockade is preventing, uh, 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 increasing the death from cancer, from uh, uh, the diseases. Of course, uh, the, the cholera death is much higher than, than it's, it's reported because Yemen is a poor country and it's very hard to report every death and, 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 and so on. So the UN, in fact, has played into, into this by only reporting the, the deaths from uh, uh, bombs and from war, not from uh, the blockade itself. The, the, the death from blockade is much, much higher. Yeah, we're talking about over 100,000 Yemenis who, who have died uh, in the past uh, mm. uh, two years, just two years from the blockade that the Saudis with U.S. support. The, mm. the interesting thing here that the United States uh, has provided support, logistical support to the uh, Sudanese army, to the same units that has committed the Dar for massacre. So uh, what do we believe? The U.S. is against genocide in, in Darfur or they are for it because they are supporting the same exact units that committed the genocide in Darfur. So this really makes the United States look, uh, look, look bad and really uh, uh, cast doubt on, on anything the United States government uh, 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 speak about uh, rule of law and human rights and, 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 mm. such, and such things. So. In the mainstream media, Ali, the war in Yemen is discussed as a proxy war between Iran and Saudi Arabia or a purely civil war. 
Is this a fair representation of the crisis, or do the Houthis represent an organic political movement in Yemen? Houthis are actually the longest, uh, uh, the, the inheritance of the longest uh, ruling party in Yemen, you know, the Zaydi uh, religious establishment. So they are uh, uh, Yemenis uh, first and foremost. The fact that they uh, have some kind of a cooperation with Iran does not make them uh, uh, Iranian proxies. But again, like you said, the, the Western media uh, uh, that is uh, rightfully covering the, the war in Syria, for example, and showing us the humanitarian uh, impact of the war there, uh, they are not doing that uh, in, in Yemen, and uh, deliberately they have ignored it. They, they have not sent people to, to cover it until recently even. Uh, so you are really looking at a, a very uh, skewed view of the war in Yemen. This is not a civil war. This is a, an aggression by several countries led by the Saudis against that poor country and you know, blockading that country Ali. with the United States and the United Kingdom. I want to let you finish your thought, but also since we have about a minute left, I want to ask you one more question. Uh, Saudi Arabia has been waging this war against Yemen for over two years. Hundreds of thousands are dead, seven million on the brink of starvation. And yet, this war is seen as largely an embarrassment for the rich Gulf Kingdom as they struggle to fight uh, the Houthi resistance in the poorest nation in the region. How is that possible, Ali, and what will it take for this war to end? I don't think uh, the, the Saudis can win this war because uh, nobody has won a war against the Yemenis. It's just impossible. Even if they take the capital Sana'a, uh, the war will continue for years. So I think the best thing is for Saudis to cut uh, and, and run and uh, ad admit their, their defeat. The problem is the United States has not yet called on, on Saudi Arabia or brought any pressure on the Saudis to stop the war. And that is the mm. shameful part of it. The Saudis are an absolute monarchy, but the U.S. is not. So why is the U.S. not doing anything? It's a question many have raised. We unfortunately don't have an answer and are out of time. Ali Ahmed, director of the Institute for Gulf Affairs, we appreciate your time.